Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and I am an independent consultant with Close to My Heart. And today we are going to be working with the You Are More card kit. I'm going to be doing my cards a little bit different than the instructions say. Hopefully it is an easier tip than how I would normally do these cards in the past. These are one and a half by one and a half squares. You have 42 of them to finish this card kit. And I needed something quick, easy, and simple. What I did is I took our Versamark and I cut out all 42 of these squares, one and a half by one and a half, and I took just a little bit of Tombow and put on the back of all these squares. The items that you will need to do this are listed in the kit, but I do not have the blush shimmer trim. I had a brain fart. I forgot to order it. I'm going to improvise. So the items that I need are the clear shimmer brush and my watercolors. What I'm going to do is I have my little brush handy. I want just the lightest of pinks. And I'm going to just messily, not even, not even nicely, messily Get all these colored in. Put a streak there so I know where to stop. I have my water in a little um, Wendy's cup. One of the cups that the chili comes in. Three years ago, I was part of the Allen High School after prom committee. We did it after prom party, so basically the kids went to prom, and after prom, they came back to the school after they changed clothes, and from midnight until 6 a.m., we held a party, so like a, a carnival, and they could do door prizes, and they could gamble, well, faux gamble, um, for scholarship money and all kinds of stuff. Well, I was on the committee to, to help organize all this stuff, and... Part of our job was to get food for the night and donations and money and that type of thing. We ended up with so many leftovers and of course, but we you know the companies, when, when they donate it to you, they're not expecting it back. Or, and for some of the stuff, like the silverware and stuff, they couldn't get it back. So with these Wendy's cups, they, they couldn't take them back because of the health department regulations. And I asked around, I was like, anybody need these? Nobody needed them, nobody wanted them. So I have like nine sleeves of Wendy's cups that the chili comes in because nobody else on the committee wanted them. And they are perfect for Easter eggs. They are perfect for water coloring because they're wax lined because of the chili. So I use them for everything. And you get two or three uses out of them if you, if you pour the water out fast enough. So I've got my heat gun. I use a different heat gun than my close to my heart embossing gun. This one is just for drying mediums. This is my uh, Tim Holtz Ranger crafted heat tool. This is not... This is not the best embossing gun out there but it is the best heat tool out there which is why I love it so I need I need six of that one and six of that one okay that works all right so this is a stamp set that comes with the cards and we need that one and that one okay All right, this is one of my most used blocks. It's, it is foggy, but it works. And then I have my archival ink black. Because we're still going to be doing some medium over this, so we don't want the ink to... We don't want the ink to um, smear. Hmm. 
I'm going to keep it. Just load it up really well. The paint is almost doing like a resist on it. It might be that I didn't get that corner completely dry. Because that one turned out well. I bet you I didn't get those completely dry. Yep, those turned out well. I'm keeping those though. Okay, so I made a boo-boo. One, two, three, four, five, six. I accidentally stamped two extra of this one. I don't need it. So I just cut two extra squares really quickly. So now I'm going to just go through and grab this one. Put this one back. I got a little carried away with my stamp in there for a second. So again, we need to ink it up really, really well. Pardon my head if I get my head in the shot. I'm going to really try not to. Yes, okay. Close my ink real fast before I stick my hand in it. And then this is a new little chamois that I'm trying out. It's by Fonlon. It's um, a stamping chamois. I know you guys have seen me use my rags before. Um, only trouble with my rag is I tend to get ink all over myself. Oh, looky there. I still get ink on myself. Okay. So, but this is just a little chamois that I'm trying out. I'm not going to give a review on it yet because I don't know if I like it or not. Okay, so we're going to dry this real fast. Make sure all the ink is dry. Okay. So now the next part that we're going to do is... You are... We're going to do that in Peacock. So we need six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I need to be pretty center. I'm still managing to get ink all over me. This is funnier than I'll get out. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so there and there. All right. Over. 
So I'm going to just keep inking and, and stamping. The next one is And Adored. That's going to be in Peacock. And it's going to be more to the top because we're going to stamp on the bottom. That one's crooked. I'm trying to get my head out so I couldn't tell that I was crooked on that one. But having them temporarily adhered down to this mat is seriously helping. Because by now, just my breathing would have moved all the all of the um, squares as I was trying to stamp. Then we need the little flower and the archival black again. There we go. I could have used the stamping platform, whether I have Tim Holtz and I have the Mini Misty. But for this application, I figured that would be probably more trouble than it was worth. So I'm going old school. Okay, I'm going to dry the ink real fast, and then we're going to go through with our watercolor pencils. So the watercolor pencils I'm going to be using are bubblegum and Clover Meadow. Um, last I checked, the watercolor pencils were unavailable because they're doing a color change. And as of yet, I do not believe they're available yet. So if you have our watercolor pencils, by all means, please use ours. If not, use what you can get your hands on or order the kit and wait till the color change. The hearts are going to be bubblegum. I'm just very quickly just coloring in the hearts. And then the flower itself. Oh, I need yellow. Sunny yellow is going to be for the center. bubble gum for the actual flower very lightly I 
I have a little bucket over here that's got all my watercolor pencils in it. That's what you hear clinking around. I apologize if you can hear the lawnmower. I try to time it to where I'm not filming while the neighborhood's getting mowed, but every now and then the HOA sent out that it was time to mow grass. So I guess everybody's mowing their grass. And then I'm at, I've got clover meadow for the leaves. I'm not really paying attention other than just trying to stay in the lines because it's going to smooth out when I add the shimmer brush. So I'm really just trying to stay in the lines. Oops, oops, and I just shook the camera. Sorry, guys. So what I've got is all of the stamping and all of the coloring done. I'm going to heat set one more time. And now we're going to go through. I've just got a piece of paper towel. And we're going to shimmer brush everything. I'm going to prime my brush real fast. Okay. I'm just going to add a tiny bit of shimmer on these. Not a lot, just a little bit to make it go. <laughs> That's sparkly. Okay, so now we're just going to very gently go in. Oopsie, that's too much. Okay, that guy doesn't look good. Well, maybe he does. Oh, looky there. He just totally changed colors. Alrighty. I'm cleaning my, the tip of my brush in between. Um panels. The yellow and the pink are blending and it kind of makes a really soft orange. I'm surprised at that. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Got this set. He smeared just a wee bit. And I know I dried it, so. Alright, so now we're gonna dry one more time. Okay. 
Okay, so I've totally flipped over my panel, and we are going to do Love You and Peacock. It needs to be right in the center. Well, they are loud out there. I apologize, guys. Pop you back on. Close you before I get my finger stuck in you, which I just did. Okay, well, so far, it's not doing a good job at not transferring ink. Not tempt fate. Close up the ink pad. And then the next one that I need is more than. And it's going to be in Peacock. And it's going to be more towards the top because we're going to put flowers underneath again. Sorry about my head. It, by the way, if you do see my head, it is a bad hair day. It did not want to do anything, so I just put it in a headband. I, we've all had those kind of days where your hair says, nope. Mine said, nope, and I went, okay. I do like the ease of wiping the stamp off. That's very easy, but the rest of it, I'm not sure. We're going to grab our little flower again. So if you notice that everything that has to be inked or, or shimmer brushed or anything wet, we're doing in the archival ink, and anything that doesn't get wet, we're doing in regular inks. I am heat setting in between just for insurance.
Okay, I'm going to heat set real fast. So again, with the bubble gum, I want my semi yellow again. Okay, again with the bubble gum, we're going to color the hearts. And then I'm going to color the flower real fast. Super light on the flower. Super light, super quick. I'm going to go back in with the sunny yellow and do the center. And then with the clover meadow and do the leaves. Okay, okay. I'm going to grab my little piece of paper towel again. Just very, I mean, I'm barely even touching these hearts. It does not take a heavy hand at all with this shimmer brush. You are just using the lightest of touches. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the shimmer. I, again, I am cleaning the tip in between kind of minimize the color transfer. A little dry. Oh, much better, okay. Oh, those got wet, okay. Now I am going to dry them down. Okay, our last little panel. And then we can go do all the... I love you more than... I'm going to use cupcakes. Because I am in a cupcake mood. The actual... Instructions say to use the chocolate, but I have been in a cupcake mood lately, so I'm putting cupcakes. And this will totally make my family giggle because I have seriously been on a cupcake kick. And if you're wondering why I have two different style of ink pads, I am slowly but surely transitioning over to the new style. But I'm only doing it as colors retire. Because that means I can buy more product to teach with if I'm using all of my money to buy the new style ink pads or the new style this or the new style that when the old style works. That's less money that I can spend on teaching supplies and less money that I can use on making videos. So that's why I have two different 
styles of ink pads. Some are the old hinge lid style and some are the magnetic style. So that's why. So we're just working them a little swirly. Flip it over and do the other side. Not sure why that one's smeared, but I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands and get the cutting done. And then once I'm done with the cutting, I will come back. And we will assemble. And I'm also going to get rid of the water so we don't spill. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, I have everything cut down. And put in their little boxes. Whenever I'm doing a card kit, I like to get these little boxes. I They're iris boxes. And I label one project one and one project two. And as I'm doing my cutting, I put them in their perspective boxes. And that's how I keep everything together. I did make one change. I'm not going to use the twine. I am going to use my little ribbon die cut thing. This is one of the thin cuts that Close to My Heart sells. I cut it with some Close to My Heart glitter paper. I'll put all of the um, links below. We know how to die cut. I didn't show you how to die cut because we all know how to die cut. So I made six of those. Haven't quite figured out how I'm going to um, adhere them. I'll figure that out in a second. And then I have all my cuts ready. And that. I've got my name on the back of my cards already. Make sure they're all going the right direction so I don't put one on upside down like I am known to do. And let's get our pearls out. Where is... There is oh my goodness, I am finding these little cork cork hearts everywhere. <laughs> they stuck to every... that's the wrong one. They stuck to everything. Okay, you keep seeing me grab the wrong knife. Let me show you what's wrong about it. So the one that I use on a daily basis is the sharper pointy blade. And the one that I keep saying, oop, that's the wrong one, is more of a straight blunt blade and this is what I use when I'm cutting my stamps apart. Say there's an image that I don't want to use, I'll cut it right out of the stamp. Doesn't bother me at all, doesn't doesn't hurt the stamp. Sorry, I thought I was going to cut myself there for a second. Um, I just put it all back on the carrier sheet the way it goes and life is happy. So I need to turn this around so I can grab their correct I still have everything on the little grid. I'm just going to reach over and pull as I need. So we're going to take one of these and one of these. And let's work from the bottom. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And we're just going to start assembly. Oh, that's why. I forgot to dovetail. Shall we? Where's my... Do 
So we're just dovetailing really quickly. Since that is the step that I forgot about. a bit off. Let's try that again. There we go. This is just the zip strip that I cut down. Again, the cutting guide is included in the kit. I don't do the cuts on camera anymore. That was a funny little cut. Because after It's the best I can say. Because after a year of working on these um, kits together, I'm hoping that by now we know what we're doing. If not, if you don't know how to make the cuts that are in the cutting guide, or you're unfamiliar with your trimmer, let me know in the comments and I'll go back through and do a little refresher on how to use your trimmer. But until I hear from anybody saying I don't know how, I will continue to do the cuts off camera. Okay, and then this one. That will be nice. Okay. Or do they? Oh, they want it up like that. Okay. Even better. Okay. Let's scoot this down some. Scoot that down by a hair. I believe that that's going to be too thick. So let's just do this. You are crooked. Crooked is not going to help me. Okay, so now let's. Not sure I like that. Got to be a better way. That doesn't look good. But until then, we'll figure that out in a second. Okay, so you are... Awesome loved... Wonderful, beautiful. And adored. Okay. You are awesome. Wonderful, beautiful. Awesome. Okay. So this is where, this is the part that I didn't really care for, because I guarantee I'm going to put these on crooked. And I'll have done all of this work and have my sentiments be crooked. I guarantee it.
I'm using score tape because um, remember these are the ones that we watercolored and shimmer brushed and so it needs a little bit stronger tape to hold it down. So I'm using score tape for that. Okay. Yep, I need to find a different option for that. And I need to put my sparkles on. Hold on one moment. Okay, let's put this guy on a card base. I think I'm out of film. My option. You need to go on straight, please. See, I don't ever mind a tiny bit of hangover. I'd rather there be a little hangover than too short. If it's hangover, I can trim it. If it's too short, there's no way I can fix it. Here's card one. Let's see if I can make an improvement in card two. Hold, please. Throw that away. Put that away. Okay. See, this is why I don't just do one card and leave you to figure out the rest of it. I like to assemble all the cards with you with me because if there's any mistakes or there's any tricks and tips and whatchamadoodles that I figure out on the way, I want to show you what those are. I don't want you to waste your paper trying to figure it out. So here is, remember these? I forgot I had one. So let's see if this will be a viable option. <laughs> Get the dust out of it. Let's there we go. All right. Let's see if this will be a viable option for sticky. It's gonna, it's gonna use a lot, but if it works, I'll be happy. Okay, so one issue is getting the stuff out of the center. Don't what? I don't want it in the center. It's kind of like a little spider web. Okay, so we're going to line it up ever so gently. And then trim off the excess. Excess, not access. I'm sure I could fold it over, but I'm not sure I want the bumpy. Okay. And then make sure it's pressed down. Okay. Works for me. I like that option better. It's going to use a lot of adhesive that way, but I like that option better. Okay, and now I need, oh, I didn't put the sparkles on that one over there. I need you are. Awesome, loved. Wonderful, beautiful. And adored. Okay, and I'm just picking these up right off my little pad over there. You're seeing some shadowing on the video. It is very cloudy outside. 
so I have no sunshine coming in to help brighten things up. So you are, let's see if I can get this as straight as possible. Loved and awesome. Wonderful and beautiful. And adored. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, let's put the put the sparkles on real fast. I'm using a craft knife to put my sparkles on, so if you are choosing to use a craft knife, please be mindful that they are very, very sharp. It is very, very easy to cut yourself. So just use a little bit of extra caution. You can use tweezers, you can use your fingers, you can... Whatever is easiest for you. I find that a craft knife is easier for me, so that's what I use. A little bit of score tape to hold this onto the card base. Make sure I've got it right side up. And then trim. Yes, I could do this part off camera, but you need to know that not every cut every time is perfect. There we go. Oh, that's much better. I like that one much better. There you go. So, we're just going to keep plucking along, but you need to know that not every, not every cut is exactly perfect and not everybody's perfect and everybody makes mistakes so yeah I'm gonna make my my trims and stuff off camera or on camera so that you can see scoot over some so I can get some of this out of my way you go that way you go that way like that okay got a friend of mine that does videos for consultant sisters for close to my heart both of us and she gets rather irritated when she makes a mistake and I just have to remind her that you know we all make mistakes you guys need to see that we make mistakes and it's okay that we make mistakes because a lot of times I know, for me, I don't know how, how Dorothy does it, but for me, I like to do my stuff with you on camera. I like to figure it out on camera. I don't like to figure it out off camera because A, I'll forget to film. I'll do the entire project and I'll forget to film the process. And then B, it's not... The point of it is for you to see, or at least in my mind, for me, the point of it is for you to see, start to finish, what it actually takes to do the project. Not a, and I know Dorothy doesn't do a lot of editing, um, which is one reason why she gets frustrated that she makes mistakes, is, is she's doing hers live too. I don't want the highly polished version of card making 
or scrapbook and see I can't get that off my finger now that makes you think that your 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 creativity is not up to snuff and that you're not as good as anybody else or that you can't possibly compete in the big leagues because you most certainly can um, first off there's no big leagues to complete uh, compete in we're all paper crafters we all do this for the love of the paper crafting okay so I need this one awesome loved that one beautiful one and adored that one. okay we're all in this together as far as paper crafting we're doing this too sorry my mother's on the phone you might be able to hear her um I think she's talking to her sister. They get rather excited when they're talking to each other. The goal of all this is to send happiness, memory keeping. God forbid something happens to us, our family knows how much they were loved because we cared enough to pre preserve those memories. My daughter jokes that she cannot say that, you know, her elementary school, junior high school, and high school wasn't preserved because she has 12 complete separate scrapbooks for those years. We both agreed not to do college. <laughs> a, because I would be, um, get a stocking charge for being on campus so much, taking pictures of my child. But B, she, she wanted to go off on her own and be her own little girl. You know, be her own person. And she doesn't need mom following her around with a camera just so I can scrapbook her college years. And she's not one to pick up a camera. So, if she wants those years documented, that's going to have to be up to her to do it. And I just have to tell myself not to worry about it. That it will get documented some other way. I don't know how, but some other way. So as you can see, as you get your rhythm in your card making, that's one reason why I love assembly style. Once you get your rhythm, it does not take long to get all this going. It takes me a bit longer because I'm trying to hold a conversation. I'm able to just sit and listen to a book or entertain myself somehow. I just blow straight through these. Do oopsie. Doesn't take long at all. Now you're noticing the corners are stuck up a little bit. Once they go through the mail, once they get stuck in an envelope, that's going to flatten out. Not worried about it. My craft knife is cutting the carrier sheet today. There's that one. I'm going to just keep going. You guys can talk amongst yourselves. Let's fold it over and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Okay. Okay. Awesome load. Wonderful, beautiful. You are and adored. 
I only have one version of Tombow and it is the permanent adhesive. I put it just a tiny bit on the back but as you can tell I've not had any trouble pulling these off my mat because I didn't press down to activate the adhesive to make it stick permanently. I just barely put it on the craft mat. That's the word I'm looking for. Just enough to let it just stay put a little bit. Even the pressure of stamping and blow drying did not activate it to stick permanently. So I no longer have permanent adhesive and non-permanent adhesive, temporary adhesive. I just have the one adhesive and I make it work for my purposes. You guys have to put in ribbon in my coffee earlier this week. I am being very mindful of where I'm at, where my trash can is. I cannot believe I did that. It was definitely more one of my blonde moments. Let's just put it that way. So the Seasonal Expressions 2 catalog is going to be coming out next week. And I am super excited for you guys to be seeing that catalog. I did a catalog walkthrough. And it is already edited and on the site and ready to launch on the 1st at 6 a.m. in the morning. So if you are up at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time and would like to be one of the first ones to uh, look at the Seasonal Expressions 2 catalog, channel or with this channel, but it is already up and ready to go. I did a comprehensive walkthrough of every page of the catalog. And I even put in my teaching schedule. So if you want to know what gets taught first, I've already told you the teaching schedule in that walkthrough. If there is a paper pack or I'm mainly worried about the thin cuts. If there's any thin cuts that you see that you simply must have, do not wait to order those thin cuts until the month that I teach. Order those very early in the catalog cycle because once those run out, they do not get replaced. The, the stamps can be replaced. Those are made in-house, but once the thin cuts get uh, run out, those will not be replaced and they'll be out of the catalog. So if there's a thin cut that you absolutely must have, order it. I would even order it early. I'd order it in May, actually. I wouldn't even wait till June. Even though the catalog runs until August. The paper's guaranteed until the end of the cycle. The only one that's guaranteed till the very end of the cycle is called Documented because that's going to be the last feature paper for Close to My Heart that they're going to be social media support for us. Hold on, I'm stuck. There we go. So that's going to be guaranteed to the end of the life cycle. But like the very first paper that they're going to support is called Beautiful Friendship. And that's actually the one, the one that I'll be teaching first. So if it's earlier in the catalog cycle, it may run out by August, paper-wise. And I think all I'm doing right now is confusing you guys. Moral of the story, watch the video. And when you place your orders for your product, you can add a catalog into your order and it will be shipped directly to your home. There's no more waiting for me to get your address and me ship it out directly to you. You can order it directly from my website when you order your supplies and it will ship directly to you, which I think is fantastic. Because it wasn't too long ago that the catalogs had to come through the consultant. And we had to get your address and then we had to mail it to you and you had to wait for all that. Well now, you're able to just get it sent straight to your home.
So anyway, be on the lookout for that next week because I am super excited about that. My teaching schedule, I'll go ahead and tell you what the teaching schedule is. For May, we are going to be uh, working with Beautiful Friendship. For June, we're going to be working with Fresh Air. For July, we're going to be working with Central Park. And for August, we're going to be working with Documented. Those are the paperback lists and the order that we're going to be working with. There's not one paperback in this catalog that's coming out that I don't like and that I don't want to play with. There's normally one that I'm like, eh, okay, if we don't do that one, I'm okay. Um, not that I necessarily don't like it, but it may not be my particular style. Every one of these paper packs is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to be buying more than just the workshop. I'm going to be buying the, the workshop and the individual paper packs and the individual compliments and the individual and the individual. Whatever comes with each pack, I'm buying extra of. My husband looked at the catalog and all he said was, oh no. Because <laughs> he just knows. He just knows. Come on. You're going to want to pay particular um, attention to the August stamp of the month that's coming out in the next catalog that's going to be available in August. It is... What's the word I'm looking for? It is geared towards paper crafters and scrapbookers. And it will be available in August. So make a note on that. If you have a huge list of things that you would like to order and you would like to get some items cheaper or, well not necessarily cheaper, if you'd like to get some items for free, contact me before you place your order and let me open an easy fight for you. An easy invite is just a online gathering and what it is is I'm able to open that up for you and if you have over $150 worth of product that you would like to order, if you place it through an easy fight order, you will receive $25 in free product. So you can come back after you place your order and, and I'll get with you, I'll get your phone number and we can talk on the phone. And you tell me what you want for free, and I, I place that part of the order for you. But you end up with $25 in free product if you have a $150 quote party. So yes, if you ever have that large of an order, please contact me before you place the order. And let me set up that easy invite for you. Because I would hate for you to leave $25 worth of free product on the table. If you notice when you're on my website, there will always be a party open that says... Like this next one that's open says April workshops. That means that if you place an order, say you've got say you've got a thirty dollar order, if you place the order on my April workshops easy invite, if my personal party reaches one hundred and fifty dollars in orders, then I have twenty five dollars in product credit that I can apply towards the next order that I need to make. And what I do is I apply it back in and I buy the next workshop that I can teach you. There's that. Oh, I gotta put the sparkles on. So that's what that party's on there for. Is it, by chance I get you know $150 in orders from customers or even myself because I add my order in there too. Then I can go back in and I can order cardstock and I can order the next workshop and things that just make it um, to where I can teach more product for you. So that's what that's how I use mine. There's that one. I forgot what I was doing for a second. There we go. So I'm just about finished with this one card. I may go ahead and stop for the evening because I'm losing light before I assemble the second card that I'll pick right back up tomorrow. You won't even be able to tell other than there might be a light difference. But I'm quickly losing my light. So I may stop before I do the next card.
the little spider web adhesive out. That's what this stuff reminds me of is spider webs. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Tell you what, that was a good idea using my my Zyron. It's making a huge difference. Last set of squares for this set of cards. Let's get this on the card base and then I'm going to stop because it is getting, I can tell there's a lot of shadowing. So, definitely losing my light. Okay, that worked out well. Come on, quit flipping. There we go. Okay, so let me show you what we ended up with. So there's that section of cards that we ended up with. This one, it takes a little bit longer, but there's a lot more um, components to put together with this particular card. So it did take a little bit longer, but they're extremely cute. I like them. So I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'll be back in the morning to finish the other cards when we have more light. See you soon. Good morning, family. The light is a little bit better this morning, so we can continue working on the You Are More card kit. I went ahead, just took about five minutes, and pre-did the adhesive on all the components, so we can just get ready and start rocking and rolling. I, again, have my name on the back of the cards already. So let's just get this ball on the road. It's supposed to be stormy later, so I'm trying to get this done. Oh, man, that was my finger trying to get this done before the rain comes and before I lose my light again, so let's just see what happens. I have had one cup of coffee, I promise. that and this is going to go there oh I didn't put the adhesive on the, on the little squares okay and then we're going to do you Before I put the bow on, I want to put the squares on. So, cupcake, more than, love you, love you, more than, cupcakes, okay.
let's see. This is gonna make me want a cupcake. This is seriously gonna make me want cupcakes. When I get done filming, Mom and I are gonna to go to lunch. And the cupcake store is not very far away from where we're having lunch. So it's a viable option that I'm gonna get a cupcake today. Do I need a seriously? Do I need a cupcake? No. Now for this one, we're going to have to trim the ends because um, this is on the actual card base already, so we can't fold it over. I'm just getting the spider web out. Hmm, let's do it this way. Oh, wait. oh, that's right. This one's... Yay! No trimming needed. This one is at length. And then we're going to put our sparkles down. There we go. Okay, so let me show you this one up close, and then we will, we will carry on. So again, you're going to get, in your kit, you're going to get a packet of twine, which is right here. So for you, you're going to be tying a bow right here. That's going to be your bow, but I decided to use my thin cut bow, and this actually is a thin cut. And it was very, very fun. What I did is I took a piece of the close to my heart silver glitter paper. I cut it down to six inches, so six by 12. And I just cut 12 bows. I just, just ran it through uh, one after another on my, I used my um, Big Shop, my electric Big Shop. But if you've got a Cricut, that would, not a Cricut, Cuddlebug or any other type of die cut machine that would work quite well. And it went through very nicely. And it cut through the glitter paper, no problem. If you notice, this is the peacock cardstock, and I'm using both sides. So I'm using the darker side and the lighter side of the peacock. It's just one piece of cardstock. That's it. Drop the other one on the floor. I'm gonna have to get it. But I'm gonna have to empty my trash can in a moment, so I will just wait one second. I'm only gonna have to turn the ceiling fan on too. These lights are hot.
bag and cupcakes. I opted to go with the the Zyron for this one because the detail on this little bow is so thin that I wasn't sure well the first one that we tried yesterday was with liquid glass and I didn't like the way that one looked and then yes I have my score tape but my score tape is a fourth of an inch is the smallest that I have and that was still too big. And my Xyron, although it's a little bit more on the tedious side, is able to get the adhesive where I need it. So, now see, this is one of those days that I miss having little Kayla when she was little bitty in the scrap room. Because if I dropped something, she used to sit behind me. And I had a, a bed table, like a lap table, that you would read the newspaper, drink, drink your coffee a bed or something. And she would sit behind me with that desk and do her artwork. And if I dropped something, I could just go, hey, Kayla, can you pick that up? And she'd reach over and pick it up for me and hand it to me. And we'd, we'd both keep going. Well, I don't have my little helper behind me now. And I dropped one of the squares on the floor. So I'm going to have to, and I'm sitting on a tall bar stool, so I'm going to have to get down, pick that up, wiggle my way back up here, which takes a minute. I did the scallop just with the close to my heart scallop punch. It is in the annual inspirations catalog. Or if you are shopping online, it is going to be under tools is where you will find it. Super simple to use and sure beats cutting scallops by hand, which we have all done in the past. keep trying to throw my trash in that little bucket right there and it's not a trash bucket Again, just taking my scissors and pulling out the little spider web of Xyron. 
doesn't hurt my scissors. I clean my scissors off. And I'm also using the non-sticks. I don't know if I would do that if I didn't wasn't using my non-stick scissors. But these are definitely my non-sticks, so you just do this and it all comes off. What well, makes a huge difference in assembly style, if you go ahead and go through and put all the adhesive on all your components first, it makes this a lot faster. So that is just one tip that I can give. Of course, I don't always remember to do it either. So. But when I do, it definitely makes a difference in how fast you put your cards together. I know right now, um, this channel is mainly workshops and card kits I would like to get to the point where I'm also scrapbooking process videos of my regular scrapbooking layouts two things are holding me back on that it's very hard to do actual scrapbooking at this filming station I don't have a lot of room and I love to spread out um, whenever I'm creating my scrapbook pages I like to have them side by side Secondly, is I'm still working, so I actually don't get a lot of time right now to do my personal scrapbooking. <clears throat> so those are the two things, but I am on a December timeline to stop working again, which I really, really, really am very happy about. Hopefully by then, my new scrap room will be ready. I am I'm kind of in the mercy of my husband right now because he not only has a full-time job, but he has a <laughs> almost full-time, part-time job that he does in the evenings. And he's writing a book. So I'm kind of at the mercy of him. And I have to remind him, hey, honey, you want to go paint a wall? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, or you want to do some wall repair. We're at the point now we're doing wall repair. We had a, when we moved into this house, my daughter was four, and he wanted her to have a huge chalkboard to be able to draw on the wall. What kid doesn't like to draw on the wall? Well, we knew we weren't going to be able to stop her from drawing on the wall because he kind of encouraged it when she was smaller. So we took and built a whiteboard, a huge whiteboard, and he wanted it on the wall. Well, he took liquid nails, which is a construction adhesive, and put the whiteboard directly on the wall with the liquid nails. So when we just pulled it off the wall, it took quite a bit of the wall with it. Of course, it had been on the wall for 17 years. And we knew we'd have to do some repair. <laughs> kind of silly not to think you're going to have to do some repair. But it took it down to the paper backing on the sheet sheetrock. So we're not only going to have to repair the sheetrock, but we're also going to have to repair the texture. We're going to have to repair all of it. So he's been doing a little bit of research on how to do that properly. So we've started the first round of that. 
you have to let it dry really well in between coats. And then once the wall is repaired, then we have to fix the texture. And then once the texture is finished, then we can paint. I have a feeling once the painting is done, it's going to move rather quickly until we get to the point where he has to build the desk. Because like I said in one of my previous videos, it's going to be a huge desk. But my patience is going to pay off because this boy, when he builds something, it doesn't fall apart. The current desk that I have in this room, you can stand on it. You can walk on it. You can jump on it. It does not wiggle. So, my patience will be rewarded. I know exactly what the room is going to look like because he has already done a complete floor plan in VR that we can walk around and he's been making sure that everything is going to fit me height wise and desk wise. Because I am short so we have to fix things to where my legs don't dangle because if they dangle my feet go to sleep. So he has to build the desk to my height. But the other cool thing that I kind of can't wait for is that room has a bunch of plugs. And like yesterday, in order to run uh, the heat gun, I have my lights plugged in and then I have the camera plugged in so I don't have to worry about battery dying. But I didn't have a plug over here to plug the heat gun in. So I had to run an extension cord from the other side of the room, plug the gun in, and pray that I don't burn the house down. And then I had to be very, very careful walking around my room with the extension cord so I wouldn't trip over it. But then, you know, before I could do any of that, it took me 20 minutes to find the extension cord, so... I can't wait for more plugs too. That's going to be nice. The little things, you know, the little things. And of course, when the room is finished, there is going to be a new craft room tour. Right now I've got a little area in my room, a little corner in my room, of things that I have gathered to go in, new decorating items that I have gathered. There was some sticky on my scissors because it's going to be different decorating style or a different decorating style than I currently have. Because I've been in this room for 15 years now. I've been a consultant for 13. I think I was a scrapbooker for two years before that. So 15 years is when I've been in this room and I've never changed the style worked why change it so this is also a, a nice opportunity to change the style Oh, that worked. Okay, phew. Just realized I did that one backwards. I should have put the squares on before the bow, but it worked. It worked out. Last one.
Yeah, this set definitely moved faster than the, the first set we did together yesterday. Definitely move faster. You know, when I was putting this together, I wasn't sure I was going to like all of this tone on tone. Because it is very tone on tone. But I'm glad I did not try to alter the design on this one. Because the tone on tone is kind of growing on me. Oh, there's the sun. Yay. Okie dokie. Oh, I need you. One more spider whip. One more spider whip. Spider whip. So basically I'm just letting my scissors touch it and then it grabs the scissors and then I just pull away. Okay, so here we go with the two cards that we've completed with this card kit. Again, the only changes that I made was instead of the twine, oops, instead of the twine, I used some silver glitter paper and my bow thin cut. The pink is supposed to be the blush shimmer brush. And then I used watercolors. And then I also used the clear shimmer brush. That's what I was trying to say. To, to complete those. And everything else is just spec. So we made six cards of each design. If you enjoyed this workshop or this is a card set that you would like to 
have for your own, please follow the link below to my shopping site. If you enjoy the content and would like to see content every Monday, please hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when I drop new videos each week. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.